Hello guys and welcome to M16 part 5 So we're going to get started by going into the front view And we want to go to vertex mode And drag these vertexes out to about here <coughs> And then Go back to your perspective view And you want to select these top faces here And you just want to extrude them so like that then you want to lift them up to about here about there and then go back to your perspective view and just rotate around your model and delete these faces here right and now you want to go back to object mode center the pivot if a pivot's dodgy and go to mesh a mirror geometry and you want to mirror it in uh, minus plus Z sorry direction and you want the pivot to be about 0 0.2 when you want to merge the vertexes together and the merge threshold to be about 0 0.01 Right now, you want to go to edit mesh and then delete by type and history, and then select this edge up here by double clicking and then delete it. Right, so if you go back to your side view or front view go to insert edge loop and you want to insert one here and then you want to scale in the X just to keep it nice and straight then just drag it back and you want to insert one here as well so here okay <coughs> now you want to go back to your perspective view and you want to select this face up here this one and you want to extrude it and then you want to drag it all the way up so go to your move tool and just drag it up to about here and then you want to go to your vertex mode and just drag this down and move it back in the X to about there or there and then you want to go to edit mesh and insert edge loop again and you want to insert one here and then go to vertex and just pull this one in a bit and then go back to edit mesh and insert edge loop again insert one here and same again move the vertexes to fit the picture like that And again go to edit mesh and insert edge loop and insert one in the middle and then you want to go to vertex mode and just pull this one back in the X and this one forward in the X and then what you can do is you can double tap this edge here then go to bevel and it'll make two of them you want the offset to be about 0.4 and you want to pull this one back here <coughs> and this one just to back a bit okay so just try lining up with a picture So now if you go to your perspective view, you can select this edge up here, the top corner, and bevel it. And you want the offset to be, you want segments 2, and you want the offset to be about 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 5. And if your model does 
does this, like makes the model invisible. You can either slip the face and delete it, then a pen poly. Or there's another way, which Fred will show you later on. So you want to delete this edge and this edge. Then you want to go to split polygon tool and insert split here to here. Insert one here to here. And same with this side. So from here, right down here. And from there to there. Alright, and now you can select this face here. Then you want to extrude it out. Then you want to play it right down to the bottom. So right down here. Just before the curving starts, go to vertex mode and pull this vertex down and pull it back a bit. Go to the perspective view and slip this face here and extrude it out. And you want to pull it out just a bit. Then you want to rotate it in the Z. So rotate in the Z just a bit. And then again you want to extrude it out. And pull it again. Then rotate in the Z again. And extrude. Then rotate. Then extrude again and then scale this in the Z axis just to keep it nice and straight extrude again and pull it down to about there and then you want to go to perspective view in fact go to you go to perspective view and select this face here and the face under here and then you want to go to edit mesh and merge vertex tool and you want to merge these two together the other two this with this and that with that and then if you select these faces here and just scale them in the X just to keep them straight And maybe just push them back in a bit. Now you can insert an edge loop here. And then you want to pull this back a bit. And pull this one up. And pull these two up as well. Select this edge here and bevel it. And you want the offset to be about... 0.5 will do. You want to select these two vertexes and scale, and these two and scale in the Y as well. And then you just want to keep doing the shape. So just uh, moving the vertexes and stuff like that. Alright. So now you want to select all these edges up here and delete them. And you want to go to the other side as well and select these three fit edges here and delete these as well. <coughs> and bevel the edge down there. And you want two segments. And you want the offset to be about 0.53 or 0.55. Now again if your face does this just select it and delete it then a pen poly like that. <coughs> now you want to select these edges here and this one here like that. Now you want to go to split polygon tool and insert one here to here 
and here to here there to there and finally there to there and you can delete this edge if you if you've done this one we don't need it so it should look like that in fact do an edge loop here to here I meant split polygon tool sorry <coughs> and you want to do it on the other side as well so again just delete these edges here And you want to split polygon tool just like on the other side. So now what you can do is go to your front view and if you uh, grab this edge here, hold on, <coughs> all you're going to have to do is grab this edge, edge here, sorry, I've got a cold so I'm totally not with it today, I just want to go in bed and just chill, alright so just grab these two vertexes here and just scale them in the Y <coughs> like that so if you insert an edge loop here and then you can insert an edge loop here as well delete this edge and then move these vertexes again just to fit the picture and delete that edge as well then bevel this and then just move these vertexes back Now what you want to do is go to edit mesh and split polygon tool and insert split here and then here and here and then finally here and here 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 and then what you want to do is select faces and select these three faces here right like I said if your model does this just select all the faces in the model go to normals and reverse and then select them again normals and reverse again and there we go it's done so now I select these three faces here these three faces here and you want to extrude them and push them in a bit delete these three faces here and delete these as well <coughs> And then go to split polygon tool, insert split here, here, and end it about here. So you're going to make a triangle, but it doesn't matter. And then finally split polygon tool up here. And you want to do it to this bit here. Yep. And that's it for M16 part 5. Thanks for watching. And next video I'll be a lot more active and watching out. But thanks for watching and please like.